Hello, my name is Scott von Holzen and this is Art and Music. You can see my progress at my blog at scottvonholzen.org or check out my website at scottvonholzen.com. Here we are. I have finished another one of these freestanding artworks. There's no frame. It's on just hung canvas. I do have a frame under here that I used in the previous art. You can barely, it's hard to see. I can't bend this too much because uh, there's always a danger you can loosen the piece up a little bit. But uh, here's the amplifier over here. You can't see that either. But anyway, <laughs> if you could see it, you would see that it is a frame. And I have a picture I have on my uh, blog site uh, posting that shows the frame. So it gives you an idea what that looks like. This artwork is uh, Woodstock, and uh, Woodstock was very much part of my growing up in Madison and when I was in college. I heard about the, uh, about the, um, the concert thing, uh, I don't know, I was in Madison, Woodstock was in New York, so it wasn't that big of a deal, it was kind of exciting, but I enjoyed the music, I bought the album. I really enjoyed the music from that. It uh, meant a lot to me. And over the years, it still means a lot to me. Um, I basically fell in love with the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young version of Woodstock. And it was only recently that I uh, decided um, to do the song again. Do the song, first place. Uh, and uh, the reason that it really came into focus to me was when I heard the uh, uh, Joni Mitchell version, because she wrote this song. And it's a slower version, uh, quite different from Cross Steel's National Young One. And I said, wow, okay, I'm going to paint this song and I'm going to use that version. And I did. So um, I, um, I got down to about a minute, minute, minute 20 some seconds, 22 seconds. And I think I should play it for you so you get an idea. This is a new uh, stereo system, the 20 watt system. This sounds pretty good. I get a little rattling here because it's the artwork's hanging against this canvas and that, but actually the sound is, is pretty good considering um, um, how much more work I got to do to do a better job at putting this all together. So here's Woodstock, the uh, Joni Mitchell version of it. There you go. Wow. It sounds pretty good, actually. Um, I had a picture on my, uh, on my blog of the base painting here, and I put all the lyrics I could fit from, lyric, uh, from uh, the words. Uh, I broke them down in phrases and stuff from that song I, all across here. All in the background here. And then I painted the blue over the top, and then I scraped it off to review the words. Well, <clears throat> it worked. I mean, you can figure out Yasger's farm right here, and if you look really close, you can figure out Woodstock here. And you can figure out some other words here, too. But it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. And um, I plan in the future to reverse that process. I'm going to put the uh, uh, a base painting, I can do whatever I want to do with the color and that. But the top painting, I'm going to do uh, the, uh, a solid color, 
And then on top of that solid color, I'm going to put the words of the music. So then I can scrape off the, you know, the off the top coat, but still keep the uh, basic, you know, you know the the lyrics showing because that's an important part of the song. I mean, it's a good that I worked that out here. The bass is basically if you look behind here and search it out, you can find all kinds of little small phrases from the, from the music of Woodstock. Um, the thicker stems here, I'm trying to just um, have them adhere better. These are very fragile artworks. So I have to be very careful moving them. They'll, uh, even though they're the, glue, uh, the glue works well on 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 the white areas here because that's the base, the solid back here. You can the top layer, even after this many weeks, still is a little soft and can pull away. So it's always going to be a problem. It's just the way it is. I love the fact that I can that it's just a freestanding canvas. I think that's uh, I don't know. I think it's unique in a way, uh, you know. And then I build my custom frame behind here, of course. And that um, color, I'm not really going to want a lot of use of a lot of splashy color. I like color to enhance the meaning of the artwork and not stand out as 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 the attraction, you know. I just I just done with that kind of color. I hate that color. I use the color that way. So these artworks. Um, reflect that. And you know, this basically goes back to uh, um, Will Circle Be Unbroken. That, that painting was a breakthrough for me as far as style and how I handle color. And that continues today through Woodstock here. So, um, I don't have much else to say. Uh, the browns, you know, fit with the time. Uh, you know, the colors, you know, blue and browns. It's, uh, we were a lot back in those days, blue and browns. You know, so, and uh, I have a little these actual colors come from my, uh, I looked up a color palette from colors from the 60s and I used some of those colors in here to add a little bit of, I don't know, you know, a little, little fallback to uh, the 60s a little bit. So there we go. There we go. There, there we go. It's done. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll find some place to store it somewhere and then we'll move on to the next artwork. So, um, I appreciate it. You're watching. Thank you very much. Again, this is Scott Von Holzen. You can see me at, at scottvonholzen.com or at my blog at scottvonholzen.org. Thanks a lot.